Okay, this is our second instalment of Open Toppy Motion in Classic Cars this afternoon. We're in a little MG Midget. Let's go and have some fun. So we drove this car 100 miles back from where we bought it from. Circumstances just played out that we uh, couldn't get it on the truck, so we got driven across in the sunshine this morning. It's lovely to drive around the way. You can't attach the door, but all from well. Here we are test driving it straight after it's arrived. Little MG Midget waiting to have a whole summer load of fun with its new owner. I think it's when you're buying an MG, make sure it's solid underneath, not what it looks like on top. See the rest of our video, we're sure to show you what it's like. And we have driven it. We know how good it is mechanically. We're not selling perfection. If you want one that looks like it came out of the factory or better, go and spend 20 grand. This is a really good fun car, looking for a good fun owner to have some great times with. Look inside the MG, obviously the camera work won't be brilliant. We've got piped matching blue seats. It really wants a set of carpets, but there's nothing wrong with what's there at the minute, but there's not much going on in the driver's footwell. Nice original steering wheel. Clocks are all working well. I think these possibly for the fog lights, and I think that's for the heater. But yeah, everything does work. Short works and everything. Gauges are working. Nice hood frame. So on the on this type of MG, the earlier ones, the hood doesn't fold down. You just take it off and fold it up and put it behind the seat there. So you get a much smoother, flatter line when you've uh, got your hood down. MG, we're just going to do a little bit of a walk around. I don't want anyone to be uh, over impressed with the pictures. Now, some little bits on the body, just bubbling around here and there. Put some of those black rubber grommets in there. Look, a bit of a scuff there. Chrome work on those hubs is all right, but it is a bit pitted. Same with the front bumper, it's all good. I've not, not had those covers, I'll try those spotlights, I'll try those later. It is good, but it's just got that slight pitting, but there's nothing here that needs fixing. It's ready to enjoy and just use. Same there. So that's got its rubber grommet in there for the jacking point. It's missing off the other side. This side's probably slightly better. There's just a few little bits on the other side. That's just mop, but there's a bit of bubbling on that arch there. And the same with the back bumper again. I think a lot of that is dust and little bits of pitting. Like I've said earlier, if you're looking for a car that's absolutely immaculate, this is not for you. If you want an affordable MG you can have some fun with, this is the one. Right, well, let's show you the car is on full lock, so you can see there's no problem with the steering or anything at the front end. This is one way going on full lock right round. Just a bit of reverse, I shall show you the other way. Here we go again, opposite way around. 
of this turn we're doing, we're going to zoom off at the hill. Look at that. Great fun. Let's go. Okay, this is the paperwork for the MG. There's loads of um, catalogues and directories of suppliers and invoices galore and all them all teas. This, this file goes on and on. I can't spread them all out. There's not enough room. Loads of invoices, some old pictures, some old tax this. These are all magazine cuttings with technical tips in, showing you how to get the car sorted and fixed and everything else. Three owners from new, current owner since 2010. And uh, there we go. We, I think there's a picture of the gentleman there, but we'll we'll put it in the package rather than showing it on the internet. There we have it. Loads and loads and loads of paperwork, and uh, certainly look like it's not been short of investment either. There's quite a few big invoices when we go through this pile, but uh, the new owner can read through them as bedtime reading whenever they want. There's loads to go out there, isn't there? Plenty of information. Thank you. 